How to Live an Extraordinary Life with True Direction and Purpose Every Day. Intentional Living with KLBK's Terry Furman. Sponsored by Sanders Funeral Home. All right, parents, it's normal to sometimes want to help our kids relax or fall asleep a little earlier. In this week's Intentional Living, we look at a concerning report from the U.S. Poison Control Centers. Last year, they received more than 52,000 calls about children consuming too much melatonin. One mother is now having second thoughts about using the supplement. Ed Nike Smith has her hands full and she stays busy with her three and six year old sons since they're so full of energy. When she hears about melatonin poisoning, that is the cause for some concern. I'm concerned because this is something that we use for to help our kids like aid to like calm down. And if you're saying that it's poisoning our children, like that's a really big concern for me. Experts tell us that's how most parents use melatonin, as a way to calm their children down or to help them get some sleep. But how much is too much? Definitely within the sleep center, we see parents that are giving children melatonin um, routinely and even at very large doses. Dr. Bobby Hopkins is the medical director at the Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital Sleep Center. She says a majority of parents try to limit their children's melatonin intake. There are exceptions. Some symptoms of taking too much melatonin include sleepiness, dizziness, and possibly vomiting. Parents who are concerned should take their child or children to get that checked out right away.